Hello everyone, this is S. Geetha Priya from RMD Engineering College. In this lecture, we will be discussing about multiplexing from mobile computer. So, multiplexing is, uh, you are going to combine multiple signals together. It may be analog or digital signals. So, the multiple signals are going to be combined together to share a common medium. Common medium is nothing but all the signals are going to be traveling through a same medium to reach the destination or to give the output. So, in this uh, diagram you can see that this space is a multiplexing and this is your demultiplexing. So, at the uh, uh, multiplexing side, the multiple signals are uh, coming in the um, it has been combined to share a common medium. So, when it has reached the destination, at the uh, destination side you will be having a demultiplexer. So, demultiplexer will be dividing all the signals and it will be giving the different output. So, multiplexing will simply is nothing but you are going to combine multiple signals together to uh, share a common medium. So, under that we will be having three types. One is frequency division multiplexing, time division multiplexing and code division multiplexing. In frequency division multiplexing, the same thing, multiple frequency are going to be combined together to travel in a common medium. So, here uh, in the second diagram, you can see that you are going to have four different frequency which is going to travel in a common medium. So, uh, at the same time, if four different frequencies are traveling together, that may occur a collision between each other or each frequency will be uh, mingled with each other. So, to avoid this, after each frequency, you will be having a guard space. Guard space in sense, to avoid the collision between two frequency, you will be using a guard space between each frequency. So, there can be filled with any uh, fake frequencies or uh, duplicate values. So, that space will be called as a uh, guard band to avoid the collision between each frequency. So, here is nothing but multiple frequency are going to travel in a common medium. To avoid the collision, we are going to use a guard band. So, this is your frequency division multiplexing. The next one is time division multiplexing. Here, uh, you can take any spectrum or you can go with the user also. So, if suppose a user, uh, five different users are there, each user will be allocated their own time to uh, send the spectrum through the medium. So, user 1 will be allocated with time 1, time 2 will be allocated to user 2. Likewise, each user will allocate it with their own time space to pass or to send their spectrum. So, this is your time division multiplexing. So, at that particular time, the allocated user can alone use the medium, the other one cannot use the medium. So, this is time division multiplexing. The last one is code division multiplexing. Here, uh, same as uh, uh, frequency division multiplexing, each frequency, all frequency are going to share a common medium, but here, each frequency will be multiplied with an unique code. So, each frequency will be having or will be allocated with a unique code. No code will be repeated here. This unique code will be allocated for all the frequency. So, when you are multiplying with uh, each unique code, it will be converted to some other value. That is kind of coding and uh, encoding and decoding. So, at the multiplexing side, you are going to allocate a unique value. You are going to combine all the frequency and you are going to pass it through a common medium. At the demultiplexing side, by using the same unique code, you are going to divide each frequency, uh, each frequency and you are going to give the result, result. So, this is how code division multiplexing works. So, in this lecture, we will discuss about what is multiplexing, what is code division, what is time division, what is frequency division multiplexing. Thank you.